okay guys um you're welcome to another part of the day two video um this is day two part two so if you have not watched day two part one you should um go um i'm gonna provide a link up um above here to watch it if you are not seeing it yet it means i've not done that and i will do that very soon okay you can just check through the playlist and then you'll be able to follow up okay if you have been following true um from day one you can drop a comment on the comment section and it will make me know that you've been doing that all right so um let's get started so where we stopped last time we actually used this str to talk which is the string tokenization which is used to tokenize a string get each word out of a string right using a delimiter so we have an advanced stat which says we should write our own um, string tokenization function, right? Without the this function, right? So we have to write a function that acts like this guy. Okay, so um, let's get started, All right? So I have my shell open here. So this is what we've been using. So let us vi and call it underscore str talk dot c. Okay, so we're going to have our um, standard I.O. Include, sorry. Okay, Drag H. Just got a notification that the data I did two seconds ago has exhausted. Anyway, let's get started. Um, so I'll call this guy underscore string tokenization, right? That's the function name. Okay, so it's going to collect two parameters, which is going to be the string and the um, delimiter. So we we'll have a string is a character, right? So we we'll have a, um, let, let, let's say it is a constant character string remember that um sorry please give me a second um i'm back um so we have a constant character string right we have a constant character string remember that it is constant because we can change it from the last video we had right so and then we have a character the delimiter is also a character so let's call this guy delimiter okay so um what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have some variables and then we'll have one to store our length so we we'll get the length of the um string of the string so let's just just get it with string length str length and then we'll pass in whatever we want to get the length which is an str so the length of the initial string will be gotten by this guy and to pass it to this guy length okay so we have a character right and then this one we we'll call it word and it's going to be an array so this time around you know that we can't use this guy directly so we have we can use an array right so we'll pass an array an empty array the length of this guy right so the array would be able to hold it so our array will be l e n and then we'll add one to it for the null right good so so let us have some variables as well let me just declare it here so we we'll have an int i and j int i comma j good like this okay so this one is going to be used for loops right all right so int i would be for loop and int j would be for um tracking word we'll get to see what it does okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to enter a for loop right and i will say i equals to zero i is less than equal to length 
five ghost boots. J equals to this one. I'm purposely doing this. Okay. Normally I can I think I can put this guy here. But I wanted to put it here just not to confuse you. I haven't tried this before, so if you are getting any error, we'll be debugging together. Okay, so um, basically, we have our string, we have our delimiter, right? So um, we said i equals to zero, right? i is less than or equal to length, that is, you are going from zero to the amount of length. So if our string length is 15 for example it means we have to go through this loop 15 times right or 16 times rather good okay so um and tap tap good so what we do next is we'll then write a condition for our delimiter okay so we say if our str at index you know we can't touch x str like that but we can actually look through and see what is inside right and we can pass the value inside to another another guy right so we say if str at index i is equal to the limiter or str at index i is equal to the null is null is equal to null so we are checking if um, our next character is in the delimiter or it is a null so that is when we are kind of stopping the um so if you have like i love you i after i if we use our uh, delimiter as space right you have a, a note okay good so if i have i love you right so after i if our delimiter is space for example we want to check what is there right and if our delimiter is null at this point remember that there's null here um, there's a null here so we want to check if it is null to show that it has ended or if it is the delimiter probably space for now right so we want to know so if it is the delimiter or this guy right then what do we do then we we'll say word at index j that's at that first index right is equal to we'll assign null to it null okay so if it is this guy remember it is assigning null to the delimiters right so we'll assign null to this place if it is, we are assign null to this place. If this guy is this, we are assign null to it. Okay, so that is what this guy is doing. Okay, so I will say explain. I know it's this place might be confusing because why are we j is zero? We are not implementing j. So how is it? Is it going to just keep putting it at the same position? But we'll see what to do. So what we we'll do next is, okay, so let's say. Um, okay let's continue and let's see so we'll say if again our j is greater than zero okay and then if you should print you have two lines so we have to use this quality braces you should print f Right, print percent s new line uh, 
from bar i want to print it in a new line and then print word and then we set j back to zero okay so this place now what we did here is that we said that um we've gotten it for example um if our if um our j is maybe maybe we've let me let me see our okay i think to to better explain it i have to finish this code right but for now just see it like that just hold hold on and let, let me finish it because what i want to explain is something i have not done so so um you should print the word you set j back to zero and then the last guy is else okay word i can say word at index j equals to str at index i sorry i'm supposed to put this j plus plus good okay so um with this i think this should help us and let's see what happens okay so for example so this guy would make us look through the amount of string length time we have right so our j is zero here right okay so let's say um we are using this word for example i love you right the first character is not the delimiter and it's not null, right so all this code this guy is just there so this code will not be executed right good so um this guy i might still need to put it outside and i might just need to initialize this one as zero but let's see so if um stri is equal to delimiter so all is not this right so our j is still zero right so if j is greater than zero is zero greater than zero no so it will not print a word then it will come here and give our str at index i to j so it means our this guy um is being assigned to word right so word is holding it now right good so let's go back we'll go back the second time and then j is increased right j becomes one right okay so um let's see i'm trying to see okay so the second time j has become zero back right good so if stri is equal to delimiter so it is now delimiter right it is delimiter now right so uh, our word j oh my data has exhausted i think my data has exhausted but let's see let's continue i got the message now i'm going to probably subscribe now once it's done all right so we have that so um our delimiter let's see our delimiter word j will be assigned null right it means this guy is assigned null right okay good so uh and then because of that our j has become one because our j has been let's see yeah our j has been assigned one character i don't know if you get that let's see let's see so if stri is equal to limiter, so it is actually equal to right so our this guy is assigned this guy so our j has gotten one number so j is one now right because it is one it's going to print um what is inside word now so word is holding uh, okay i think the best thing to do now is instead of saying j plus 
so we'll say j word j plus plus okay so this guy would assign stri to j and then increase it by one right so so when it gets here this node is going to the next character here right and then j has been increased so j is one and then it's going to print that word so word so far would have a null and i so it's going to print i and then a new line so what we want to do now is we'll go through it again right so it's going to start it's going to um let's say after it prints it prints it, prints it it sets j to zero back right and then it won't execute this guy it will go back again right and then this one will be on probably the third line the third time so it's going to check is it the limiter is not right so our j is zero so it won't print any word then it will assign stri at that position which is td to j which is going to be this l right good so it's going to continue again check again is it no it's going to assign the next one to j right so it's going to continue assign this one assign this one right so it's going to assign when it gets to this point okay so when it gets to that point it's j will become one again okay because uh j has received a new guy right so and then it would check this place one is greater than this place and then it's going to print the word and set j back to zero so let's see if we are to create this xtl stl token or it's been it's it's given to us already by alex so let me just check the project and see okay so it's loading and let's see string tokenization so i want to see the list of allowed function okay we have string token so we won't be writing our own but it's better just to know how it works so um you can try this with the um normal function the way i wanted to do it and all you need to do is let me just explain that okay so let me clear and early. okay good so we have our um what's it called this guy right so i want to replace this guy wherever we use str talk in this guy right and then since this one is in our main.h i'll just put our main dot uh a dot h header there and then it's going to um it's going to work right so Try that let me know if it works on the comment section and then i'll see in the next one and in the next one what are we going to do um let me go forward back okay so um we have to done this so the next one we are going to execute in a program and then um i will release that now all right see you